I believe I was, I, I had internal issues that was unresolved. You still see that when you look in the mirror? No, sir, I see a great man. Hey, man, I see a beautiful man myself. Yes, sir, my All beautiful right? brother. Good oh, to my see you, God. He, yeah, I see that too. He's using that body of language. You saw that, right? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you know, uh, salute to my man, Torch uh, Kalani, who pulled that clip out of me and my brother sitting there having conversation. And it's interesting to hear that clip, Heather B, because, uh, you know, nobody knows you better than you know yourself, <laughs> right? And so a lot of times when I listen to playbacks of interviews I've done, not even interviews, interactions I've had, conversations, yeah. I can tell how invested I'm truly am. Mm -hmm. You know, I could tell how 100 I'm truly being, you know, so to speak. And whenever I hear my the tone of my voice in conversation with this man that's with us today, I can hear the love, mm -hmm. I can hear the admiration, I can hear the protection, you know, I can hear the support. You know, I, I, I feel like a big brother to him in man, many ways. About to make me cry yeah, nah, bitch, no, man. no. Well, it's just what I listening back to that clip. I was like, oh wow, I was, I was authentically myself, and it reminded me of flying to L.A. to sit down and talk to you and have that conversation. Hey, you remember that time I was late? <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I was apologizing. Yeah. I had got on my knee. Yes. And when I got on my knee, you got on your knee, and yes. you was like, and you was like, uh. <laughs> It was like your your action was saying, "I'm never I'm never above you, never below you. I'm always on side you." Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just like you said it without saying it, like with your actions. Mm -hmm. I just I just want I just tell you thank you for being you again. Oh man, yeah. come on, Kev. Thank oh, you, man. thank you, brother, for receiving me. Thank you again. All right, thank you, man. That's Kevin Gates like, is up in this building. From the first time I had met you, yeah. from the first time I met you, when I was just on that, I just rap, you know. You, you know you 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 was you was digging deep and you just made me just come out of my shell and you saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself at the time. So like I said, I'm I'm always be grateful for. Oh, I'm man. always love you for that. I'm always be grateful. I told this story before Kalani, my my nephew right now worked for for us. He wasn't here when you was here last time. The first time we really interacted was um. I want to say it was a BET thing, was it? Well, you need to charge your phone? I needed to charge my phone. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I felt like I needed, you were either changing your outfit. I needed to charge my phone badly. And Kev was like, come hey, on, come, on, come in my car. Gotcha. It was a nice ass car, too, Heather. That's the, that, that was I mean, the infinity <laughs> truck. Oh, <Yeah>. okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. and, then, and then from there, uh, we've been solid, man. Welcome back. Kevin Gates yep. is here. We're celebrating the ceremony. Birds calling is all over the internet, blowing up. Uh, I just played the song, I Don't Apologize. Is that true? I don't. You never apologize for anything? No. Just forgive me. I'm so not sorry. Really? Yeah. <laughs> all you can do is all you could do. So, like, and then when I used to tell my grandfather, I apologize. Well, if you apologize, you wouldn't have did it. <laughs> Sounds like other. <laughs> so do do our apologies? Do you believe? And I'm just based on that. Do you think they're insincere, like p apologies? I can admit when I'm wrong as a man. Mm -hmm. Like even if I'm arguing with my woman and she have a valid point, I say, "Babe, you know what? I was dead ass wrong for that. Mm -hmm. I was wrong. I'm not about to apologize. I was dead ass wrong. Mm -hmm. The best apology is change behavior." Mm -hmm. I like that, Kevin yep. Gates. Man, when I listen, action. yeah. Um, I go back. I, that's just me holding myself accountable. I take self accountability. Like I take that super serious with myself right now. Mm -hmm. And I I used to think it was like um I used to hide the fact that I talked to myself, mm -hmm. but now I promote the fact that I talk to myself mm -hmm. because that's how I process things. I'm in tune with me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to understand. I want to have a. I want to develop an understanding, an understanding, a cultivation of self. So that's why I hold myself accountable. I'm, I beat myself up because so the world can't. Like, I'm not happy unless I honor the commitments I made to myself. Mm -hmm. I can't empower others if I'm not empowering myself. What was the last thing you you beat yourself up about that you had to have a conversation um, with yourself? Uh, not honoring my commitments. Mm -hmm. I allow things to, um, I allow myself to be distracted. Mm -hmm. That's why I say in the, um, can I curse? Yeah, go for it. Can I use profanity? You could use And whatever. when I use profanity, uh -huh. it's not like I'm doing it to be like, um, vulgar. Mm -hmm. I'm just expressing strong feeling. Like I can say, Sway, watch out for that tree. But if I say, Sway, watch out for that motherfucking tree. <laughs> you know, I express strong feeling, strong emotion. Yeah. But on one of my songs, I said, I'm purpose driven. 
I'm developing riches. Mm -hmm. You pleasure driven, you develop addictions. Elevated in ranking, my dick is not friendly. I would not be distracted by women. Mm. Manifestation, mm -hmm. my semen retention brought everything that I want into fruition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just, I, I, I'm i just like, I'm purpose driven. I'm on my purpose. Mm. I've heard you talk about semen retention before and, and um, I'm a firm that's, believer that's, in that. That's the lyrics yeah. on, to the uh, on that song ceremony. Yeah, on the ceremony song. Yes, sir. Can you speak to how you said uh, seem, the benefits of semen retention that you I'll the, the, say the this. physical? I want to say this. Oh, yeah, look at me. This the benefits of it. Look mm -hmm. at me. Mm -hmm. That's the benefits of it. I I just went on a seven day fast. I ain't eat nothing for seven days. Before my listening party, it was just amazing. But I needed clarity. Mm -hmm. So I had to clean my temple out. The only way the most high can abide in the temple is when your temple is clean. Mm -hmm. But a great responsibility to come with saying your body is your temple. Mm -hmm. God body covered by the highest. They guns hold no power to this holy temple. How you kill a God when the law called him? The only time he goes when the law called him. You know, I, my body, my temple. So when everybody was in there drinking, I just had apple juice. Mm. A great responsibility to come with that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, that's what made me stop drinking because, like, you're not ready to call your body your temple because you ain't ready to take responsibility. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me that. Somebody told you that. And then I was like, you right. Because mm. it takes a lot. It ain't an easy journey, right? Mm. All those things, it takes a lot to keep your temple intact. But when I first came out and talked about semen retention, everybody laughed at me. No, I didn't laugh. Now, that's, that's all you hear now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The life force is sacred. Mm -hmm. Now, that's all you hear is everybody talking about that's what they do now. Wonder mm -hmm. where they got that from. Yeah. Is Kay. semen retention the same as celibacy? No, ma'am. Okay. Discipline. Semen retention take real discipline. Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, I, I don't even like to even talk about those things anymore because okay. it's, not, it's not that. I even hate the word sex because it's spiritual unification. But whenever I would have a sexually related conversation, people take little small sound bits and clips and make go viral off a small clip and then go to the interview and see what I said made sense. That's true. But they try to make me look like a clown in the in for clickbait and things of that nature. So I had to realize that with psychology, mm -hmm. even though a teacher may have a master's in psychology, when they teach in elementary school, they they meet the child at the level that the child is at. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, you know, some conversations are too high frequency for people that's vibrating at a low frequency. I can't cast my pearls to the swine. They're going to take them and just and shit all over them. That's real. They you frivolous know. with it, too. Yeah. So real. Very frivolous. That's the. That's so that's the, why I stay yeah. away from them type of topics because I operate. In a, I operate in a realm that's that's outside of the the um, the understanding of most people because common sense is not really common anymore. Mm. But how did you find your path into that realm, like your spirituality? I know this ceremony project really touches into that, right? When did I become not afraid to speak about it? Because I've been spiritual. Okay. Um, twenty twenty one. That's when I said I'm done. I'm 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 not even pretending no more. Mm -hmm. Like. Like, it was one time I was out here at a club. Something told me, get out of here. I left. Then a big fight erupted. But I was gone, unscathed. I pay attention to my inner self. Mm -hmm. It's people that I could look at from down the street, and I know that they not right for me. Mm. But I done dealt with them anyway. And guess what? You, I, <laughs> I, I can't say I suffered the consequences. I had to learn a valuable lesson. Yeah. I had to learn a lesson. Mm-hmm. Got to follow that inner voice. And the lesson, the yeah. lesson taught me to start trusting myself more because mm -hmm. you was never wrong. Right. Kevin Gates, HB. Wow. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, I appreciate what you're saying Same. and your truth. I do. Um, I was blessed enough to come in this industry as an artist, and I, I've gone through my journeys. Yes, ma'am. And um, Sway and I, because we've known each other now for three decades, we consciously made the decision. I've been knowing you for over a decade. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, so don't tell me out. No, 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 no. But I, and I know that. But Sway and I made the conscious decision for this place to be a safe space for people to come and share what, exactly what you just shared. And I just want to say to you, without going there, thank you. And you are absolutely doing what you needed to do. I didn't know about any of this. I'm listening, like I'm hearing this for the very first time. But the first thing I did when you, well, you did when you walked in the room, you hugged me and my spirit it felt right. 
And what did I say to you? I said, God bless you. That's what I said I to you. I didn't know you said that. That's God bless I, you also. God bless you. For he who has seen me has seen God. Yes. God bless you because yes, I felt ma'am. it. So God bless you. Thank That's you. all I want to say again mm. to you today. God, God bless, bless you. you also. Thank you. You're welcome. This is I'll receive it. Amen. Amen. Kevin Gates here, man. We're celebrating the ceremony. Uh, Trace, I'm going to let you jump in. I saw that smile. <laughs> You know, Kevin, um, I think what you're describing is really having a relationship with your intuition and also developing the muscle of discernment. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Okay, intuition is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Women are naturally gifted with intuition because women are um, spiritual. They can transform liquid into something physical. That's why I would never lie to a woman because that intuition is naturally God given wisdom. So, like, if you go in the house, they got, I know killers that's scared to tell their women the truth. But I believe honesty is the mm-hmm. best policy. I'm just giving you a hypothetical. Mm-hmm. But you have to be brutally honest with a woman because her intuition not going to mislead her. She know. They scared to go tell their woman, hey, hey, where you been, babe? I've been fucking. The truth. And when you tell her the truth, guess what she could do? She can heal you and cleanse you of all of that. Mm-hmm. Come get these sins off me, babe. Mm-hmm. But if you don't tell her the truth, guess what? Her intuition going to be... Over here in her womb, that's a separate chakra. Mm-hmm. And guess what? You can offset her pH levels because she hasn't processed it. Right. And when you give a woman an option, you know, she treats you like God. Amen. You're not lying about that. I'm talking but, about. But what I have has to be cultivated. Mm-hmm. There's, not no, there's not no intuition right here. This is pure vision. This is cultivated. This is I'm operating in a different dimension and a different realm. This mm-hmm. has to be cultivated. This comes from a lot of fasting. This comes from going beyond the veil. This comes from fasting to 42 days sometimes, 21 days. When in my spirit called to do it, I just don't eat nothing. This is when the veil is weakened on the eyes. Mm-hmm. So I can see things that other people can't see. People going to say I'm tripping, I'm crazy. That's mm-hmm. cool, but I'm winning. Look at me and look at you. It's got to be developed. I'm glowing, you're not. When it comes to your um, audience, when you had mentioned earlier about knowing that even if you have a PhD in psychology and you're teaching first graders, you got to be able to break it down at a place that's You got to be able to speak in layman's terms. Do you feel like for your direct audience that you're able to speak to them completely yes, ma'am. free? On the, um, on, the, on the ceremony album, I do it, and I'm not trying to insert it, but this was the first time I did it. I spoke about, like, spirituality, mm-hmm. the act of breathing, real spirituality, remembering, mm. the remembrance. Because every cell in your body can, holds memory. Every cell. Yes. And when you're not in tune with yourself and you lie on yourself to be distracted, such as even sleeping with the phone in the room, especially women, they don't need to have the phone in the room at all because they're governed by the moon. Mm-hmm. And it disrupts the melatonin cycles. This when they get their psychic downloads. Yep. This is when they get their downloads, that wisdom that they can impute to me so I could go out and execute it. So, it's you know, it works together. Mm-hmm. The son being the strict father, that's the, that's the masculine. Yep. The mother earth, the feminine energy, the holy divine feminine and the sacred masculinity together as one. Create what? Life. Yep. What can you speak to? Your your information. How did you acquire your information? Um, what, what are some of the outlets you went to? It came from the celestial court above. Mm-hmm. When a student ready to learn, the teacher will appear. I can't really speak on what it is that I underwent, but when a student is truly ready to learn, I'm talking about pure of heart. When you say, "Man, I done had enough. I'm sick of this," mm-hmm. the teacher will appear. And guess how the teacher gonna come? How's that? Might come like you, might come like Miss Heather B. You gonna you gonna you gonna receive these this information, these downloads. It's like putting a piece of a puzzle together. Mm-hmm. You're on a journey. That's why you can't judge nobody and shun people because you never know who gonna hold the next key for this puzzle. Kevin that we Cash. call life. That we call life. Like, the- like I was against yoga, uh-huh. but me taking, but me saying I ain't about to go do no yoga. But once I started doing yoga. <laughs> It speared me into a different direction. Had I not did it, I wouldn't be nowhere close to where I'm at right now. So that was a piece of the puzzle, a small piece of the puzzle. I can achieve whatever I want to just through the act of breathing, something that we don't do because we operate out of fight or flight. Mm -hmm. So by helping the world heal, I found my mission. When I help the world heal, especially men, when I help the world heal, I got to say it again, especially men, 
I in turn really helped myself here because mm-hmm. I talk to myself every day, all day. I enjoy my conversations. I do that a lot you like too. Intelligent Go conversation. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I never let me down. Either. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mad interesting. Uh, I want to play this song called "Heal You." Yes, Lord. Speak to that song because you've been mentioning, you've been saying the word "heal" a lot. Yeah, I heal shit. Yeah. A transfer of energy is healing. Mm-hmm. My energy is very healing, but I have to be careful because you have to be careful because you can admit so much energy into others, you can pour into others so much that you forget to pour into yourself. Uh-huh. And that's when we age, that's when we become drained. You ever had a conversation with somebody and you're like, man, it's fucking so exhausted, I'm drained. Yeah. Yeah. But you have a conversation with somebody and then you feel refreshed after yeah. They gave you life. Other people, they just took energy. They was energy vampires. Mm-hmm. And that's why I'm at with it right now. I had to learn how to set them healthy boundaries, but I heal shit. Here it is, heal you. Kevin Gates, 888-742-3345. I heal you. Kevin Gates is here. The album is The Ceremony. I ran I ran like a mile before I came here. I ran a mile in six minutes, and I listened to that song. The time you ran? The whole time you? Before I came here. Before you came? Yo, I'm gonna I'm, I'm I, 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 go to the gym. I didn't want to commit. You saw me, I just started right there. Yeah, I I'm saw going, all uh, of that. <laughs> If you I'm just gonna, if you just walk in the gym and walk out, you still showed up. That's the first step. Get, get See, I'm, I'm not here to I'm not here to I'm not here to compete with you. Yeah. If you walk in the gym and do one push up, guess what? You tomorrow you might do two, mm-hmm. then three. Now if we go to the gym the first day and I just make you do thirty push ups and your body can't take that kind of capacity or that kind of momentum or that type of frequency, guess what happened? You saw it for a whole week. Yeah. But if we just do a little at a time, you know, the slower you go, the further you get. Mm-hmm. There you go. Anything fast don't last. Right. Yep. Like Let- that's like you showed me a man, like, like, and I and I mean this with all due disrespect. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't listen at a fat motivational speaker. Cause mm-hmm. I used to be fat. Mm-hmm. I was I was three hundred and ten pounds, I was a slob. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I used to go in and point out everybody else's flaws because I had a fear of somebody seeing me for me. It took anger, frustration, and mo- when I told you about the little baby yeah. who was trying to suck my titty and mm-hmm. everybody laughed at me. Mm-hmm. And I needed that because that was harsh reality. But that's what motivated me to put in the work. I have to be the message that I bring. I can't listen to somebody and empower me if they're not empowering themselves. Mm-hmm. I empower myself. That's how I'm able to empower others. One thing about it is habits. I honor the commitments I make to myself, like discipline. Self-restraint equals self-respect. Self-respect equals self-confidence. That's why when I walk in the room, I I know I honor my commitment. I ran that mile before I came here. Mm -hmm. So I'm high off me. Yeah. I like that. (laughs) Come on. Let's get back to what you're going to do in the gym today, Sway, because, Kevin, before we came here, Sway told me he walked in the gym yesterday. And walked out. He did a couple shots. He showed up. He showed up. up. That's what we were talking about. That's the first step. Yep, he showed up. We just had that conversation. What TV talking about? You, that like you. If you can't eat, you can't sleep. You can't. You, you, no pain, no gain. If your body is in pain, that is an indication that something is off balance. Mm -hmm. Something is you're you're not in alignment. Don't go in there and try to kill yourself. You go in there and do what you can do. All you can do is all you can do. I did shoot around a you little bit. You told me I said that. I, I said okay. he said he shot, right. shot about so something. Like, I don't like that. Like, when people say, no, you got to go in. No, that's not true. That's not true. Because they not living like that. Tell me about this album, The Ceremony, because when I go back to Isaiah, I went back and listened to a lot of the projects that you've done. Um, t- talk to me the about ceremony? the ceremony. Yeah, the identity I, of this one. Um, reuniting with my authentic self. Okay. You know, I, I was like so many others in the world, like, Living in a um a facade, uh-huh. showing you what what I thought was acceptable, or what I thought you wanted to see, you know I was living in my truth. But you remember last time when I used to come up, I used to have syrup in the cup. That's right. You know I was on drugs, uh-huh. things of that nature. You know the things that people don't like to look at, but I'm gonna tell the truth. But I used to think that external things added value, but external things don't add value. Inside is what counts. Uh-huh. You know, and we condition like that from poverty-stricken situations because it's like if I want the girl, you know, I got to have a car, I got to have the money, and a gun mm. to get a girlfriend. You know, we th- we think that things give us happiness, but things don't make us happy. External things don't add value to who we are. Mm-hmm. It's us being who we are authentically. That's what adds the value. That's why in my listening part I just had, it was the first time, like, that I allowed myself to be celebrated. 
And mm. it was so beautiful. And I went in there with just a little small little watch on that somebody had gifted me. Shout out to Emmett. And he had gifted me this little small little watch. It was, it was beautiful. It was rare because he know I'm a rare watch collector. I like rare things. Mm-hmm. So I just went and I said, I ain't even going to wear no jewelry because I am the jewelry. Mm-hmm. I had my little, I had my little, I had my little white jacket on, my little bow tie. You know, I was flying, I you was flickety. Yeah, you, you was flickety. Yeah, I was doing my, you know, I was doing my little shit. You know, and I had a blaze like, yeah. and I, and I just told everybody, thank y'all for coming out. I want y'all to know this is, this is the ceremony. We are not our past. Mm-hmm. We are not our past. We are only the face of the circumstances and the decisions that we make. We still got today and tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we still got today and tomorrow to become great. To become great. When you look, um, you know, this show, this ain't your fourth project, but fourth studio album. When you look at the music business as it is today, what do you see? Different from what you saw when you came in. You want me to be all the way, all the way honest? Do you know how to be any other way? I don't know nothing. I don't see nothing different, to be okay. honest with you. All right. I don't see nothing different because I, I stayed myself. Mm-hmm. I didn't, no, and no disrespect to no other artists that did this, I never sold my catalog. Cause I didn't have to. Mm-hmm. I like fishing and hunting. I live below my means. I don't live above my means, so I don't. I don't need anything. Mm-hmm. I go fishing and hunting. Like y'all saw me. I I, I live on a farm. Mm-hmm. I'm a goat herder. I got chickens and dogs and camels and I got cattle, meat processing plant. Mm-hmm. I got coffee, and I got a brand of coffee that just came out. I'm a general. I'm one of the generals, and like like. In the morning is my rituals. I get up in the morning, I take a cold shower, black coffee, pray, stretch, do my little yoga, and I go work out. That's my ritual. So I name my coffee brand Ritual. Oh, um, okay. Nice. Because that's part of my morning ritual. Mm-hmm. That's you, part of my routine. Mm-hmm. Do you brew? I mean, do you grow the beans on your land? Yes, sir. Wow. My man, Kevin Gates. Damn, get that around. Not on, not, on, not on that form. Okay. But it's, yeah. It's, it's on another it's form. It's on another form. Like me, my partners. Okay. And the blend was selected by me. It's it's custom made because you know I'm a coffee connoisseur. Mm-hmm. You know anywhere I go, I want to taste different blends. But I got a nice little blend. It's just it's tailored for me. It's a medium roast. It's a roast where you in the morning you could go work out on it. Late night you could read a little book. I don't know if y'all do this, but I drink coffee at nighttime before I go to sleep too. That doesn't keep you up, or is no, it? sir. Mm. And it's not a decaf. Mm. I tell my body what to do. On this whole of divine day, I hereby release all the energy that no longer serve my higher self. So it is. Mm. When I pray, I just tell God I'm grateful and I'm thankful. Anything I want, I command a Ferrari. I command a Porsche if that's what I wanted. I command the things that I want. But I pray. When I pray, I'm just out of gratitude. I'm thankful for this. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for this. But anything I want, I manifest it. I just, it just comes to me. Mm. I attract it. Man, that's so I got to be very careful, though. Responsibility come yeah. with that. Cause I could attract the wrong thing, so I gotta be conscious. If I have a like a thought, I can't loop in a negative thought. I gotta learn from the lesson and move on. Attach a positive connotation to it because I could attract that to me also. So I gotta just be, you know, real cognitive with like my thoughts. Cause your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. And I gotta beat myself up so the world can't beat me up. Cause the world could be a cruel place at times. But it also could be a beautiful place because once you change your perspective, that's when miracles happen. And that's what I had to do, get out my own fucking way mm-hmm. and stop being a dummy. Mm. Kevin Gates, man, I love it. Heather looking at me because these are conversations we just had. Just had. You know, this are our off-mic conversations. We mm-hmm. have an on-mic with Kev. Mm-hmm. You know, Vince on the line from Detroit. Vince. What up, V? Hey, what up, though? Hey, y'all. What's going on? Good morning. Hey, I, I'm blessed, man, because... I'm in, I got like three work vehicles and they all got XM radio in there. And every time y'all got somebody spiritual and positive, I get to call and talk to y'all. Yes, Lord. I don't Lord. know how much I pay a month for these bills. <laughs> a lot. I got, I, it's been, yeah, I don't know how much it is, but <laughs> I done caught every single positive rapper. And Ke- Kevin, you're one of my favorites, man. I got to tell you, your, your music, your whole, I love listening to you talk on your, your interviews and stuff, man, because it's still like, that brother talking to me, man. He, he, that's that's what I feel. That's what I've been thinking. Me and Tracy G had a talk a long time ago. She probably ain't gonna remember this about bipolar. And it's like everything that you said, I didn't understand at the time and so, stuff. But now that I I hear the voices, I listen to the voices. That voice is my inner spirit. That voice is my inner side. And everything that I didn't do, 
not listening to those voices. I ended up paying for it, just like you said. And it's like, man, this guy right here. I thank y'all. Hey, and I was dead serious about inviting y'all to dinner, man. I thought y'all was down here in uh, Detroit with Shay 45 the other day, but y'all ain't hit me back. So you I got it? a I got a question. You yes, know sir. what great decision making comes from? No, ha- tell me. Having made a lot of mistakes. Mistakes make us great. I'm proud of you. I think you're doing amazing. EB said this. Yeah, I got to tell you, I done made a lot of mistakes. Like, yeah. <laughs> yo, this dude is saying. You got that Professor X right now, yo. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's just that energy. Yeah. The language That's of energy, that energy is from the him, language. Man. Yeah. Words are primitive. Any, you could walk in the room. I could talk good as a bitch all day. Mm-hmm. But anybody that's in tune with energy and in tune with themselves, they going to feel if what I'm saying <laughs> the truth or is not. Like, they going to feel it. They going to know. Oh, he just talk good as a bitch. You going to know. It's, it, energy doesn't lie. Wow. Language is primitive. Because, see, somebody that talk good to you and trick your mind. Yeah. That's why I say suspect evil or no one until see it. Once see it, forget it not. For once an enemy could never be a friend. Big Sam told me when they painted you a picture, don't let them paint you another picture. Mm. Kevin Gates. you could talk good as yeah. a bitch and trick my mind. Yeah. Now I'm back believing in you again. Mm. But you already showed me that you wasn't my friend, so we reward loyalty with loyalty and we reward disloyalty with distance. I forgive you, but I ain't about to forget and be naive. Right. That's unintelligent. Vince, thanks for your call, man. You're a super citizen, I'll brother. Swear in the morning. Hey, the new album is out Friday. The ceremony. You're going to love this one, Vince, all right? You got it, man. I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace. Peace. Dia's on the line from North Carolina. Dia. What up, Dia? Welcome to the show, Dia. What's up? Thank you. Blessings to all of y'all. Blessings. You too, boo. Hey, Kevin Gates, what you said about the phone thing and the energy, or I'm sorry, um, with dreaming. I'm a dreamer, and that really resonated with me. And I appreciate you very much because I needed that today. Yeah, you be having like prophetic dreams, and you got to start paying attention to them because that's that's your guidance. Or, like we like we are amazing. Like we yeah. are so amazing. Like we like we let TV tell us that we not really nothing, but we are amazing. Like, mm. thank you. Mm. Okay, Dia, make sure you pick up the project. It's a lot of information. I'm just, just scratching the surface. Yeah, he, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, no, that's, you're great. Always been great. Thank, thank you. you. Gratitude. Bless. I received that for Kev, too. I said thank you. You did. Gratitude. You saw that. That's my brother. Thank you for thanking my, telling you, my brother. You me. <laughs> yeah, man. You come me, on. I am you. There it is. I want for my brother what I want for myself. Amen. True indeed. Amen. I love that. Rob in Philly. Go ahead, Rob. You yeah, are Rob. Caller. What's goody? Yeah. yeah. What's up, family? Rob. Happy New Year Rob. to my Rob. people. Happy I ain't talked to y'all since last year. All yeah, right. Rob. Yeah, Rob. Yo, let that? me get straight to it. Yo, Kevin Gates, I'm going to give you your props. I'm going to tell you something, man. I'm 55 years old. Mm. April 30th, I found out the man that I called my father wasn't my father. Mm. So you hit it on the head because at 14, I asked the man, are you my father? Why you hate me so bad? Why you treat me so bad? He answered nothing. That was the answer. Until that day on April 30th, I was seeking a, a, a approval from a man that wasn't Validation. even my father. Yes, sir. So when you sit there and you say, listen to yourself, I always talk to myself all my life. And you know who I was talking to? The divine one. Because I never had a father but was always a son. So I'm yes, going to tell sir. you, Kevin Gates, <laughs> I ain't never rock out with your music because you a thug. I thought I was a thug, but you was a thug. And I like how you thug and everything you doing and you believe in yourself and you turn your life around. And I, that's what I'm more amazed at. But the music was the vehicle that drove you to where you at right now, where you were able to speak life into people like myself. Yes, you my old head, and I'm, I'm your young boy because I'm 55, and you knew this all this time, and you're walking into your destiny. And I tell you, my man, keep doing what you're doing because a man like me, I knew what I wanted to do, but I allowed outside voices and outside people to dictate how I move, and that's why I made my mistake, because I achieved a lot at a young age. Mistakes you make us great. And when you're around a bunch of lames and you're around a bunch of pigeons and you're an eagle, mm. you're going to be afraid to fly, but you got to be bold and say, right. you know what, I'm stepping out this flock and I'm going to do what I do. So, Kevin Gates, my man, keep doing what you're doing. Yes, I love sir. you. 
I ain't afraid to say that. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud that you're not ashamed to show who you are as a man because that's the true it definition take, of a man. Take more not courage. being afraid to tell it take, somebody. It that. take more courage to show vulnerability than to do to walk around being a tough guy because everybody know you faking. Mm. Uh, but yes, vulnerability, yes, it, it's, it's, it's difficult at times. Yeah. Yo, man, I'm going to follow you. I ain't on no social platforms because I'm one of them old school players that hey, information and you ain't supposed to show everybody your shine because niggas going to throw mud, mud on you. But at the end of the day, I'm I'm trying to adapt to a new way of thinking because in order to follow somebody like you, I have to go where you're at. And I'm not ashamed or afraid to admit that because yes, a lot of us old school dudes, we set in our ways. We don't want to change, but That's the world real. is changing. So in order to, to maintain and to, and to go forth, we have to change in the deck. We in the divide die, right now. We we in the great divide right now. You either vibrate low or you vibrate high. Yeah. And that's just where we at right now. It's a division going on. Cause I noticed like with all of my old friends, since I started making like conscious and healthy decisions, I didn't have to set healthy boundaries. The boundaries set themselves. Mm -hmm. I go to bed at seven or eight p.m. I don't go to clubs. I don't drink. I don't smoke. That weeded out a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go with that healthy ass shit. But you know what they be saying? Man, you look good, bro. Yeah. Man, what I got to do, bro? And it ain't just yeah, the If I'm in the room yeah. with me, you got to get in tune with me. I'm a lifestyle curator. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you because guess what? Nothing was ever given. We could get the any number you want to, but we got to start at one. Mm-hmm. And the, and the turtle always win the race. That's what I tell people. And 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 the look is not just what you see in the aesthetic; it's what you're feeling. The inside, the inside, yeah. like that's like uh, if my house dirty. Mm -hmm. That's just the external, but that's a reflection of the internal. Mm -hmm. See, when everything in order around me, that's a reflection of the internal. So how I do anything is how I do everything. I got to hold myself accountable. I'll be about to pull out. Hey, say, Dick, you know you ain't make that bed up. Hey, come, come on. Mm -hmm. You're going to miss your blessings. You know, the universe, come on, the universe allow governs all events. It ain't take no time, but I got a trick what I do now. I keep my bed made, but I got a big I got a big old blanket. I sleep under the blanket, <laughs> and I just fold it Get and out. lay across the bottom. <laughs> Get out. It make, you know, work smarter, not harder. That's where I'm at with it. That's what I'm in with it right now. <laughs> I love it. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Yo, Rob, you a citizen, brother. <laughs> thank you, Rob. We appreciate you, Rob. Yes. Go off and be thank great. You. All right, listen, I want to thank this brother. This is my brother, man. I could tear up just sitting here listening Every to this brilliance. Every time you say, yo, I got him a uh, text message, it just said 100. HB, I'm good. Kev hit me 100. 100. <laughs> Kev, that's all Kev would hit me with was the 100 back in the day. It's just, 100. That's it. Now, if he, I wouldn't know what to do if he hit me with an 85. It wasn't good. <laughs> you know something ain't right. You know like, something ain't shit, right. We gotta 100. get the cash. He had 85? Um, brother, keep coming. Keep coming to see us. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you're when yeah. you when you're available. I love New York. In, in your time a lot, but come see us. I, I love it up here. Yeah, I do. man. Come the on. energy. You know, like yeah. I said on that I Am Him album, you know, I'm in New York right now. I'm a different animal when I'm up here. Yeah. Come on. Let's energy. The energy, you yeah. know. Come on. Get it, man. Kevin Gates, y'all. Give this man a big round of applause. The ceremony is the fourth studio album. This out this Friday. A lot of bangers. A lot of great music. <laughs> Kev, before I, I let to, you go. I, I got to I, celebrate myself. Celebrate yourself. Who? The musicality on your projects are incredible to me. Like the, the the layered chords, the chord progressions, the bridges, the hooks. Who do you work with? Like, is that all Who your have vision? I worked with? Well, my, like, my great teachers? Yeah. Um, Rico Love was one of them. Rico oh, Love. Rico that Love, so wow. Rico and uh, Love. you ever know that song that, oh man, that bitch, she go hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Rico did that. Like, when when I one thing I learned from Rico Love, shout out to Rico Love, I went in the booth, he said, no. You can't think of feeling. Mm. Say the first thing that come to your heart. And ever since then, we 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 and let's build on that. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, that's where it been. Rico mm. Love, it makes sense. That yeah, was, that, yeah, that he was, don't he don't they don't salute him how they yeah. supposed to, but yeah, he a monster. Yeah, he's salute come, to you, Rico Love. Yeah, he You'll get it here. You get it here. He's come up here. We like salute. all the yeah. progression and stuff that you hear, like yeah. with the layering under the. That come from like I I had great teachers. Mm -hmm. I hear it though. Like I I grew up playing instruments, so I listen different. I had great teachers. Yeah, Kevin Gates, man, the album is the ceremony. Thank you, brother, for joining us today once again. Yes. Love.
Thank you, family.